It is now official, Canva has become a powerhouse when it comes to designing on your mobile phone. In this video, we are going to cover the latest development about the Canva, Android and iPhone apps so that you know exactly how to get started to design with Canva on your phone. What is up everybody, this is Ronnie. Welcome once again to our channel, the best place for you to learn how to use and to master Canva. Today, we have a very special tutorial with a brand new format. Look at this, this is the vertical format because we are going to talk about designing with Canva, yes, but on your mobile phone. This is the first video of a long series of tutorial about Canva for mobile. So welcome to this first episode. Uh, today I'm going to show you around, show you the fundamentals of how to get started with Canva on your phone. And this, if you have an iPhone, an Android phone, it doesn't really matter. Because as of very recently, Canva has delivered a uniform experience across all of its platforms. So Canva should now look the same on Android, iPhone, but also on desktop. Before, there used to be a great bunch of differences between the desktop and the mobile experience, but not anymore. It is all the same experience for you guys to enjoy across platform. So without further ado, today, let's get started with Canva on your phone and we are starting right now. All right, I am now on the Canva home screen for mobile and I'm going to be using this little dot right here to point different things to you on the screen. Um, this is not a button by all means, it's just a pointer. So I'm going to be using that so that you see what I'm doing here. So the Canva home screen is going to be your home page, your starting point when you log on to the app. Of course, if you don't have the app, that's the first thing you need to do. Go to your App Store or the Google Play Store and, and search for Canva. Download it uh, to your phone and install it. And then when you log in, this is what you are going to see. So the first thing is a banner welcoming me to the app. Uh, I can see a huge search bar right here and we are going to get into this in a couple of seconds. Uh, but first I want to give you a little bit of an overview of this first page. So if I scroll down a little bit, I have create a design and different design types, doc types they are called um, in Canva language. So that might be an Instagram post, Instagram story. And this uh, first row of, um, of doc types right here is actually uh, scrollable. So you can scroll to the left and to the right. So right now I'm just swiping like this so I can see all the way to the right. Okay, going back here and this might look a little bit different. I believe Canva uh, adapts this to really fit the document that you are using on a more like uh, frequent basis. So it might look a little bit different. So don't be surprised by this. Next, I have Instagram post and there I'm, I'm starting to see some templates, right? So these are templates for Instagram posts that Canva wants to show me. And there's a see all button. If I tap here, uh, I will be brought to the section where I can browse more of these Instagram templates. And you can see there's a plenty of templates right here. So it's really easy for you to get started. And you can also notice that in the search bar, we see Instagram posts. So I can clear this query by using the little X right here. Uh, or I can go back to the home page uh, like this. Again, if I am in another category, let's say I want to use Instagram stories, I will tap on the see all button. Uh, now I can see all of them. The first uh, doc is always going to be blank. So that's going to be a place where you can just start from scratch. So if this is what you want, you can tap here. I uh, also want to show you how to go back home. Just tap on the home button right here and you will be brought back to the home screen. All right, what else can we do from this home screen? I'm just going to browse uh, and swipe down to see all of the things. So basically you'll have a bunch of different uh, template categories. Some of them are really cool, like animated logos. Look at these, like beauty It's really beautiful. Love Instagram stories. We are approaching Valentine's Day or maybe when you watch this video, we are already over Valentine's. But what I'm saying here is that you have all of your doc categories. All right, next, uh, let's continue explore this UI. You can search. 
So let's try a search. I'm going to tap in the search box and I'm going to tap Facebook ad. So Facebook ad. Uh, Canva is going to show you all the keywords that have to do with Facebook ads. So we have Facebook ad, Facebook app ad, Facebook shop ad, etc. etc. So you can really start browsing. Let's say you want a Facebook story ad, this one right here. I'm going to tap on this and again, I will be brought to the this landing page where I have all of the, the templates for Facebook story ads. Again, tapping on the home screen, I want to go back home. Okay, so we've seen the search, we've seen the different doc type categories here. What else can we do from this home screen? Well, there is a big plus button right here. So let's tap on this and see what happens. So if you tap on the plus button, uh, we see all the different uh, document categories again uh, and a search bar so you can also start your canva design journey from here so from the plus button but now i have one more option which is custom size so if i tap on custom size what i see is that i can create a document uh, with the width and height of my choice right so this is very useful if you are not finding what you're looking for in the Canva library in terms of doc types or if you have a very specific requirement. Let's say you need a very small icon. So icons could be 128 by 128 pixels, for example. And you can change the unit uh, in the last uh, box right here. So right now it is pixel, but if I tap on that box, I can see that I have inches, millimeters and centimeters. Uh, for the purpose of this one, I'm going to stay with pixels. And if you tap on create a new design, then Canva will create a design which is 128 by 128 pixels. So that's very uh, convenient, I would say, to create custom designs. I'm going to cancel that. Uh, all right, still with the plus button right here, I can browse the different uh, doc categories from here. But I can also search for content from here. So let's say I want birthday. Let's type in birthday. So you can either type or search for a document type like Facebook, Instagram story or stuff like that. But you could also search for something else. Let's say you are a teacher and you need some material for your class. You could search for, let's say, school, for example. If I type school, yes, secondary school resume, so school poster, school t-shirt, high school diploma certificate. So a whole bunch of different content ideas from Canva, not only document sizes. All right, this is great. I'm going to cancel that, go back to the home page. Uh, and I want to continue exploring. We've seen the search bar, we've seen the scrolling section right here in the middle, and we've seen the plus button. Okay, so now at the bottom of, those, of your screen, we have three extra buttons. The first one is home. So basically, this is the home screen. When you tap it, you will get here. The second one is designs. What is this? Well, this is your designs. Pretty much the design that you have created in Canva they will be showing here. So that's all your creation, your Canva designs. And the last one is going to be menu. So if I tap on menu, I have a whole bunch of new options right here. The first one is the one with my name and the current team I am using. So if I tap on the little arrow right here, I can easily switch teams. You can see I have different teams. It might be that you only have one team uh, and that's okay. So that's for the teams. Uh, you can also refer a friend. You have your privacy policy and you can sign out from here. So that's the little section here with your, uh, with your photo. Then you have your recent designs. If you type here, you will see the recent designs you've worked on. Going back to my menu, uh, share with you. So these are the designs that have been shared with you from people in your team or people who have sent you links. That's all good. Uh, then we have your brand kit. Okay, the brand kit is where you set your colors, your fonts, and upload your logos. And uh, we will have a different video for that uh, on how to set up your brand kit. We have one for desktop. So if you want to go ahead and search for this video on the channel, it's going to be available very soon. Um, we have the content planner. This is when you want to uh, schedule your posts that you create in Canva to your different social media account. This is a pro feature. Uh, so if you don't have Canva Pro, you won't have this planner. 
Uh, all your folders. So this is the link uh, to access all of your different folders that you have created. Again, if you are a free user, you only have access to two folders. Uh, unlimited folders are, is a pro version. Then you have your trash, all of the stuff that you have deleted. Uh, my team, so this is my team's feed. If I tap here, I can see all the people in my team, um, all the designs they have created. And if I, if I go back, I have my liked and purchased items. All right, so this shows you pretty much like everything you have to know in order to get started with Canva on your mobile phone. This is also the first video of a mobile series. So we will explore uh, how to create all sorts of different types of documents from your mobile. But I know a lot of you guys are watching the channel from India, or from Indonesia, or from South America, in countries where a lot of people just do everything from the mobile. Uh, you might not have a computer, or maybe you prefer to work on your mobile because this is the device that you have that is connected to the internet. So uh, we are conscious of that and we understand that more and more people use their phone as their primary device. So let us know in the comment what are the different things you want to learn from us in terms of learning how to use your mobile phone to create with Canva. Like what type of designs are you looking to to create from your phone? What type of tips and tricks do you want us to teach you? Because we are going to go all out and all in on mobile tutorials. So every week we will try to have a new mobile tutorial for you. All right, so uh, that being said, I hope you liked this video. If you did, subscribe to the channel because we will have many more. If you know a friend or if you have colleagues that use their phone as their primary device to design with Canva, uh, invite them to watch this video as well and that's it for me I will talk to you in the next video thank you for watching